you ever paid for something with all the loose change in your wallet? What if you wanted to pay for some milk and bread with $10 worth of 50 cent coins? Doesn't sound too bad, right? Well, you could be refused service. It's happened before, and it turns out it's completely legal. Counting coins on the counter of the 7-Eleven from a quarter past six till a quarter to seven. There's an obscure section in the Australian Currency Act 1965. It says coins aren't legal tender if they exceed 20 cents where one and or two cent coins are offered and these can still be used. $5 if any combination of 5, 10, 20 and or 50 cent coins are offered or 10 times the face value of the coin if one or two dollar coins are offered. But all of this is up to the merchant. If they're happy to accept the coins, then no problem. Back to the milk and bread. So if you did want to use those 50 cent coins, the maximum amount you could go up to would be $5 before someone could refuse to accept. So what if you're trying to pay for that $3.50 cup of coffee with a $100 note? Well, the Reserve Bank of Australia says Australian banknotes and coins do not necessarily have to be used in transactions and refusal to accept payment in legal tender banknotes and coins is not unlawful. Only two coins, the Holy Dollar and Dump Coin, have had their legal tender status removed. So technically, you could use pennies and shillings and other pre-decimal coins if you wanted, although they're probably worth more as collector items. In come the dollars and in come the cents to replace the pounds and the shillings and the pence. There are plenty of other obscure laws in Australia which you've probably never heard of but are 100% legit. This is for the Commonwealth of Australia. And this is for the United States of America. <laughs> In 2017, Victoria introduced specific legislation banning mooning, aka exposing your bare rear end. First time offenders face up to two months in jail. Victoria also says you can't fly a kite to the annoyance of any person in a public place. We all know about noise restrictions in residential areas, but Victoria's pretty specific about it. It's an offence to make unreasonable noise with a vacuum cleaner, amongst other items, after 10pm or before 7am on weekdays and 9am on weekends. And you can't drive a dog or goat harnessed or attached to a vehicle in a public place, just in case you were considering doing that. Up until a couple of years ago, it was illegal to have more than 50 kilograms of potatoes in Western Australia. Also in the West, you could spend a year in jail if you try and clean up seabird or bat poo without a licence. And don't even think about challenging someone to a duel in WA or Tasmania. I challenge you to a duel. That could cost you $6,000 or two years behind bars. While many of these laws seem ridiculous now, it's just not possible for governments to comb through every single offence that exists, and reviewing them often isn't high on the priority list, with punishments unlikely. There are plenty of other lesser known rules that are actively enforced today. Drivers in New South Wales can be fined up to $2,200 for not taking enough care to avoid splashing mud on public bus passengers. Nationwide, you can't take your dog for a walk or run while riding a bike. And using offensive language in a public place is a criminal offence. That can go for slogans too. A couple of years ago, a Brisbane man was fined for moving a fridge on a train. It's not the only oversized item Queenslanders have tried to move on public transport. And anything that doesn't fit on luggage racks or under seats is a no-no. And ever heard of squatters' rights? Well, it's an actual thing. You can apply for ownership of a property if you can prove you've lived there for 12 to 15 years, depending on the state, without the permission of the owner. A few months ago, the New South Wales Supreme Court granted ownership of a house in Sydney's inner west to a property developer. 20 years earlier, he found the empty home and has been renting it out ever since. 
Well played, sir. But don't believe everything you read on the internet. There are some popular but unverifiable claims that it's illegal to wear hot pink pants after midday on Sunday in Victoria and that you can't dress up as Batman or Robin in Australia. Our job is finished. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and let us know about any weird or wacky laws that you've heard of.